Hello people, welcome back to my channel. So I thought it was about time to do another Harry Potter haul, but I haven't bought nearly enough things this time as I did for my last Harry Potter haul, which is why this one's just simply called a mini Harry Potter haul. But nevertheless, the things I've got are really cool. I'm very pleased with them. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did. And if you're new to my channel, then why not subscribe to join my little magical corner? Okay, so we're just gonna start with books because I actually bought quite a few this month. I just realized that there were quite a few books that I still needed to collect. So I have remedied this slightly. The first one I'm going to show you is one I featured on an Instagram post recently, and it is this one. So yeah, this is the Harry Potter A History of Magic. I mean the cover is just beautiful, it has the phoenix and this nice little writing in the background. It's just it's just such a beautiful book and yeah it's just full of really beautiful illustrations and lots of detailed information about magic through history I guess. So yes I'm very pleased with this. It's going to take pride of place in this section of my bookshelf here which is a kind of Hogwarts subject classes school kind of section just down here and you know A History of Magic is one of the books they learned there so that's going to go beautifully in that section. The next couple of books are some vaults. I already have the character vault, but, but it's taken me this long to collect the rest of the vaults. I recently did an Instagram challenge where I was posting every day and each day was a theme. And I realised that upon seeing other people who were also doing this challenge, they were using pages from books that I didn't have. And, you know, I was running out of ideas for some of the themes for the day. And I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna get some more character vault books so that I can use them in Instagram posts and they have cool pullouts as well and you know the books themselves are really awesome. I'm gonna show you the first one. It is this one. It is the Artifact Vault which is all about all of the magical items, props, anything like that, that featured in the Harry Potter films. I really like the cover of this. I just think that's really cool and artsy. And yet again, it's full of really awesome and detailed information that any Harry Potter fan would just love to learn. So yes, another one I am really enjoying right now. The next vault book I have is of course the Harry Potter character vault. I had to get this because again, I need it for Instagram purposes but also they have really good detailed information about each of the characters and again lots of really beautiful illustrations and things so yeah again definitely happy with that. Another book I have recently purchased is one that I really feel like I should take a look at because I realised from a Geek Gear unboxing when I unboxed the wand I didn't know whose wand it was and I felt a little bit ashamed of myself that I don't really know what every character's wand looks like so I've got the wand collection book. I mean yeah of course had to get the wand collection book and again this book is really cool it has loads of really detailed and interesting facts and information about all the characters wands basically and yeah this is definitely something for every Harry Potter fan and especially all the Harry Potter fans who are into collecting wands. This is for you guys so yeah I, I am a wand collector myself so I'm gonna really find this will come in handy for naming ones that I may not know instantly. <laughs> that is it for books but the next thing I have to show you is made of paper and is something to read and is probably one of my most favourite items. So you know the quibbler right? You know there are lots of prints out there and book covers out there. I found a seller on eBay who had created their own editions of the quibbler. I mean the detailing in these books are absolutely freaking incredible and yeah it's not just the cover and back either. There are pages and pages of information and behind the scenes things and one of my favourite sections. They have their own word searches and a crossword puzzle and you know this just it just gives off the impression that this is an actual magazine straight out of the magical world. I absolutely love it. Yeah, it says here free pull out poster centre pages. You go to centre pages and there is actually a free pull out poster of a bloody dragon. Oh two dragons actually. I mean just look at that. That just shows how much time, effort and love went into these quibblers. I think they might do like more editions of the quibbler. I was specifically looking for one that didn't have the free spectra specs on the front cover which is the most popular 
quibbler cover that you can find. I wanted one that was different and I found this. I will put a link in the description if you want to buy your own. But yeah, like I said, this is absolutely amazing. It's going in my Luna Lovegood section because, you know, her dad was the editor of the quibbler. Absolutely love it. Just... Cannot praise it enough. And while I was on eBay, I thought I would just look at potion vials or like little potions just so I can again display them on my bookshelf. And I came across these. These are miniature potion vials. There are 12 of them. They are already labelled. I mean, I would have made my own, but I don't have a printer. So, you know, I found these and I thought, yeah, that would do. That would do beautifully. And they are so, so cute as well. So so we have flu powder, amortentia, veritas serum, gillyweed, skelly grow, unicorn blood, wolfsbane potion, draught of living death, bezoar, pepper up potion, felix felicis and polyjuice potion. There are quite a few potions here and yeah I thought brilliant for my bookshelf. I will fill these up and I want to try and get the colour of what I fill these up in as close to the potions as possible. If you guys have any ideas please let me know in the comments below. I would love to get some inspiration on what to fill these with. And last but not least the last item in this haul video is this. This is a little bowl truckle. It is a bendable bowl truckle. It's not the Noble Collection one. I know they've recently come out with one but I was kind of put off with buying the Noble Collection one because the bowl truckle is sticking its tongue out whereas with this one it's just a normal face and you know I kind of wanted one that didn't have his tongue sticking out. Pickett does that for one second in the film and all of a sudden it's his most recognisable trait. So I didn't want one that resembled Pickett. I just wanted a normal bowl truckle. I haven't got it out of the box yet as you can see. We're going to unbox it together. <laughs> Just before I do though I, I want to give a quick shout out to Quick Spell Co because he did a bowl truckle video recently where he showcased two different kinds of bowl truckles that he has and this is the bendable version from his video. He linked it down in his description and I had a look and I thought <laughs> it's not even 10 quid I'm going for that and you know if he's happy with it then you know, that's all the reviews I needed, really. So yes, thank you, Quick Spell Co, for giving me the idea and inspiration for getting this. Now we're gonna get out of the box. Here he is, look at that. Isn't that so, so cute? You can manipulate his body to shape it how you want. Yeah, oh, he's got a cute little face. And the detailing on these are actually really, really good. I am very pleased with this. And it's going to be a welcomed addition into my Fantastic Beasts section on my bookshelf. That's not all that came in the box. With it, you also get a little card with a bit of information about the bow truckle inside, that's pretty cool. And you get two cute little magnets with it as well, which also are pretty cool. So that is everything from my mini Harry Potter haul for this month. Please let me know in the comments what were your favourite items from this haul. Mine has definitely got to be the quibbler and the little bow truckle. They're just really, really cool, but the books also are every Harry Potter collector's dream. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that would be awesome. If you're new to my channel and you haven't already then why not take a look around and subscribe to join my little magical corner. I make videos every single week so come and subscribe to join the fun. Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you next time.